Hey, this is Sridhar from WPWDesign.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build um, custom loops and uh, custom with custom queries in Oxygen using a code block element. As you guys probably know, Oxygen comes with the easy posts element. But the problem with that is that it is a simple thing. And uh, if you want to show entries with custom uh, queries, for example, let's say you want to set the current category to that of um, the value coming from a function, then it's not it's not possible to do that with easy posts. Because if you go to the custom po uh, portion of that uh, element, you can see that it basically uses the query string method and not the um, the traditional or more commonly used key is equal to value, you know, array pairs method. Anyway, when I basically show the requirement as to what we are going to do, this will become clear to you that it is not possible to do this with easy post. So we have to use a code block element. All right. So what do we have here on this test site? As you can see here, that's portfolio. So these items that we see are the entries of a portfolio custom post type. Okay. And uh, in this <clears throat> example, I've got a custom field group called portfolio meta, which has been set to display on uh, the portfolio item, custom post type. And it just has a simple text field called visual. So if I edit any of the portfolio item, so let's go to this portfolio item, for example, so here you can see this portfolio meta which is the custom field that uh, custom field group and visual is the name of the custom field and I've set this to front for this item and um, this has been set to I think one two three four about five entries okay so now what I want to do is I want to display um, the the latest three portfolio items okay whose um, visual custom field or meta key has been set to front on the home page. So this is something that we, is not possible with uh, easy posts. So first let's take a look at the um, template that I have for archive. As you can see it is uh, set to be applied to all the archives. Okay, so as you can see, um, this is basically using the default uh, preset and uh, that is the grid image standard. So you can basically select any of these presets the, um, to start or use as a basis uh, for this, the next portion of what we are going to do. So in this case, I'm just going to go with the default, which is this grid image standard. And what we are interested is in the template PHP and the template CSS. So we are going to basically copy these things and uh, put them for our custom query and custom loop and then make changes as required. Um, so I'm just going to paste that in uh, a temporary location. also the corresponding CSS. Okay, so now we are done with this and I can get out of this. So let me just go back to admin. Okay, so what I want to do is um, go to the uh, home page. Uh, 
okay and um, let's say below this first section I would like to have one more section that displays the latest three portfolio items uh, whose value of visual has been set to front so I'm going to edit this page with oxygen okay bring up the structure and uh, here is the uh, first section below the header so what I'm going to do is first add a code block by going to add and clicking on code block uh, uh, before I do that I should basically be adding a new section so I'm going to click on add a section and put this in the second position if I can Okay, there you go. I'm going to move the code block to inside this section. So right now all it says is um, hello world. That's the default. So we're going to go into P uh, the uh, PHP and HTML. And in here, we need to add the PHP. So for basically generating the custom query, um, I use this generate WP website. So in this case, I would like to fetch the items of a custom post type called portfolio. And I would like to fetch three items and show them. And I would like to show the loop as well okay so update the code and when you click insert you can copy that so I've just added opening PHP statement and a closing PHP um, statement and this editor that I'm using is sublime text and this you can press Control shift P or command shift P if you're on a Mac and um, you can start typing set syntax PHP so SSP and then you hit enter it automatically adds the syntax highlighting uh, with all the nice colors and stuff okay so here we have got the WP query arguments in which we are saying that you know the post type has to be portfolio and I want three items to be fetched from the database and uh, where you see here do something is where we need to actually define what should be done with the data that has been fetched from the database okay so the conditions that we have is not complete we need basically three conditions the first is that um, the post type has to be portfolio and we want the second condition is that the number of posts per page is three so we just want three posts to be fetched and the third condition is the meta query so we only want to uh, show the items or portfolio items for which uh, visual meta field or meta value has been set to a specific string so how do you do that um, So you can do a Google search for meta underscore query and space WordPress. Actually, it's the second link that I wanted to show. Meta query, yeah. So this is the piece of code that we need to add to this query. So here we are saying that uh, Q 
key in this case what is the key what I want to search for so if I um, yeah so if I go back to my um, custom fields and edit my custom field group so you can see the name is a visual right okay so the key is visual and what should be the value the value that I want is front uh, this compare in is not something that is required so all that is not all that we need is just this portion to be added so here we are saying that uh, uh, only fetch those records or those portfolio items uh, for which the visual um, custom field has been set to this value front okay so just as a test under this do something we'll just simply show um, the title so we can do something like that so I'm going to copy this entire code and uh, put it here and click on apply code. So right now it looks like a bunch of gibberish because uh, these things do not have any line breaks or paragraphs. So what we can do is uh, I can basically say echo, let's say some H3, okay. Okay, so we are essentially enclosing the title inside the heading h3 tags and when you use this echo you got to change the title to get the title. So whenever uh, in WordPress or using ACF the general uh, nomenclature is if you have the something like let's say the field of something that basically shows or displays directly whereas if you use get it only fetches it but not actually show it then you got to echo it to show it on the page okay so let's copy that paste apply so here we have got um, three uh, items portfolio items let us see if it is correct so I'm gonna go back to my portfolio and take a look at the latest item that has the uh, you know the value front for the custom field so it should be at aliquam whatever uh, that is correct next is this assumenda yep that is correct and uh, next is this enim veritatis and that is here so it is working as we want okay so now what we need to do next is to show these uh, show the portfolio items like this basically you know have the image the title and the meta and uh, the excerpt and read more okay so this is where we basically make use of the copy that we have copied uh, from the template of uh, easy posts element okay so we have got the php code here or the html code so all we need to do is where it says do something we just have to put it in here okay now one thing that you need to remember is that this is html we are in the html mode and you can see that uh, uh, wherever PHP is required we are opening the PHP and closing the PHP but essentially this entire code we are in the HTML mode but whereas here we are in the PHP uh, mode so we have to first close this PHP okay so how do we do that um, just close PHP like that and then you open PHP like that so here where my cursor is right now we are in the html mode and i am just pasting the code that we have copied from 
the easy posts template HTML and PHP section. Okay, so let's copy this entire thing and put it here. So now what we have is essentially this is the query, right? So this is a custom query that we have built and the loop is this entire thing at the bottom. So loop is basically what should happen to each of the item that has been fetched from the database. How, how should it be presented on the front end? Okay, so we've got the PHP and HTML in place. So let me go back to primary and then CSS. And now we need to put the CSS in here. Um, you know what, let's first just um, see how this looks. I'm gonna save it. and take a look at it on the front end. So I pressed F12 in Chrome to bring up the developer tools and I'm going to inspect um, one of these entries and as you can see, it has got this oxypost uh, class. So each portfolio item has got this oxypost class. Now, when I uh, go take a look at the CSS that I've copied from the easy posts um, element, you can see that uh, it has got this uh, placeholder, a dynamic placeholder, which will be replaced with the ID of that particular element. <clears throat> so, And there is something called oxy posts. So this oxy posts is a div, is a class of a div, which essentially encloses these oxy posts. So we need to go back to our query. And where you can see while, above this while, we need to basically add the opening div tag of that oxy posts. So here we are saying if, that means if there is any, uh, if there is at least one item that is being returned or fetched from the database, okay, then okay, then basically open the, just print this on the web page a div that has a class of oxy posts and the while loop is ending here so here we need to close the corresponding div okay so i'm going to copy that and put it back here save refresh Okay, so now you can see that each of these individual portfolio items has been enclosed in a div having the class of oxy posts. So now this is matching the CSS uh, structure that we have um, copied. Okay, and now we still have to take care of this particular thing. So for this, uh, we can simply set a class to the uh, code block element. So by default, this code block will have the ID just like any other element in oxygen. So here I can just simply say uh, something like uh, home portfolio or front portfolio. Okay. So I just assign that uh, CSS class. And if I come here and reload, so what we have is this uh, div that has a class of front portfolio. Inside that is a div that has oxy posts and inside that are the individual oxy post. Okay, so we are ready to copy this entire CSS. 
and put it in here. And let me first change the syntax to CSS. So I'm going to press Command Shift P and SSC, set syntax to CSS, hit enter. So the placeholder, this percentage, percentage, EP, ID, percentage, percentage, we can replace all the instances of this with uh, what is the class that we have copied? Just a sec. Uh, given is friend portfolio, right? So friend portfolio. Okay. So I think that is it. So we just need to copy this entire CSS and go to primary and CSS and paste. Save it. You can already see it working here. Come back. Reload. And boom, there you go. Also make sure that it is uh, responsive. Okay, looks like it is actually not responsive. It is just shrinking down as you go. So what we can do is we can observe uh, how it is behaving in here on the portfolio custom post type archive where the easy posts element is being used and you can see after some time it's uh, becoming two per row and eventually it's going to become one per row so let's see when it is becoming into two somewhere here okay so 1120 and below now if i inspect this and go to oxy post you can see the width has been set to 50 percent at 1120 and below. We could do the same thing here. So I'm going to click on the style.css. This is just a temporary place where you can add some CSS and uh, you know play with it and then once you are happy then you can put it in your actual website. Okay so what we want is um, in the front portfolio right oxy post but before this we need to put the media query is it 11.20 i think it is yeah so in the 11.20 media query set the width of this to 50 percent so right now it does not actually appear because the CSS from Oxygen is overriding this. So as temporarily, we just need to put important, but in Oxygen, we don't need to. And uh, let's change this to 1120. And you can see that it is working. Um, let me just remove this and see. Now we got to have it at least here in the Chrome debugger. Okay, so at what width is it becoming one per row. I think it's 768. Yeah. So here you can see at 768, the width has been set to 100%. So At 768, we want the width of each of these items to be 100%. So we'll change this to 768. And yeah, that is working. So now we need to copy that CSS. And we can put it here. Well, you can see that there is al already a media query for the 1120. So I can simply um, cut that and put it in there. Anyway, you can do the formatting. That's not uh, the point of this exercise. So I'm just going to delete that. And at 768, we want the width to be 100%. Okay, save it. Come back. Uh, no, yeah, here and reload 
and you can see that it becomes from 3 to 2 to 1. All right, I hope you found this helpful. This is how you use a code block element in Oxygen to build custom queries and write custom loops. I hope you found this helpful. Bye for now.